Hello YouTube RJ. Well today we're going to do a real quick little look at another product I bought for the uh, the lab here. I thought it'd be handy to have an electric screwdriver. I mean I've got the impact drivers and all that but I need something just to do screws that for taking ham radios apart, taking electronic devices apart, you know where you, you need that fine touch. You don't want to strip things out or whatever. And so uh, I was in Harbor Freight wandering around and came across this screwdriver. Um, the price wasn't bad. Uh, I want to say it was like $18. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I thought we'd open it up real quick, take a look at it, charge it up, and test it real quick and see what we think. I also went ahead and it comes with some real short little bits, which if you've ever worked with an electric screwdriver, or an impact driver, you know that oftentimes you get in and you can't get to the screw because your screwdriver is hitting or whatever. So they had a longer set I didn't think I needed. So I thought, picked up a set of these. They were only a few bucks uh, to go with it to give me a little bit of reach. So let's take a look at what we ended up with. Okay, so we'll get our Quinn scissors out. It's, uh, it, this is a bar heavy duty. Uh, electric screwdriver 2-in-1 grip design. It's supposed to have 180 RPMs. It's supposed to weigh 0.93 pounds. And it comes with 4-volt Li-Ion screwdriver and flashlight. Also has a flashlight built in. Chargeable Li-Ion battery charger. And then a number 1 1-inch one bit, a number 2 1-inch bit, a number 6 slotted 1-inch bit, and number 8 slotted 1-inch bit. So that's, that's pretty short bits. So I guess I won't get too picky on where I cut it here. Just go ahead and this rascal open and separate the plastic. Like that. Out. One thing about it, it doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a nice case or anything. That's uh, one thing that uh, you know it's going to be a maybe I'll make a little box for it or something. That might be a nice DIY project to do. But uh, here we go with the manual. Um, it's got the normal warnings telling us, you know, be careful. Um, looks pretty, pretty straightforward. For the use of the tool, the first time, fully charge the battery. Charge the charger into a plug charger into a grounded 120 volt, 60 hertz receptacle plug. Plug the charger plug into the charging port. Charging light will glow red during charging and turn off when charged. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, let's plug her in. We'll uh, let her charge up. I'll come back when she's charged up, and uh, we'll take a look at it. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We've charged for a little while, and we're going to give it a quick try. So. One thing about it, it's a gun, but if you push the lock, you can rotate it into a straight screwdriver, so that's uh, that's handy. It's got a flashlight at the bottom. If you turn the switch on, you get a flashlight. That's handy. There's your charging port here, your trigger, and like most, back and forth is how you adjust going in and going out. So I decided to went ahead and opened up our bits. Decided to do a little quick test see how this thing, uh, you know, how well it'll drive in. I, uh, I went and found what screw I could find. Here's a wood screw. Um, turn the light out. And we've got a little hole, I put a little hole here to set up and kind of do a test. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come back with this camera. Sorry about the camera move, but I'm gonna come back with this camera a little. And uh, let, let's see how this does. I'm impressed. How tight is that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, it's it's got torque. There's no problem with torque. It will drive. I'm sure you can could hear how hardy it put that in. And uh, I, I had the screwdriver out to test. I wanted to see. Uh, yeah, there's no problem with power. In fact, uh, 
hopefully not too much. I don't want to be tearing screws off and such. Um, it would be nice if there was a torque setting. That's the only thing I could say, but uh, I think it's going to work well. It turns slow enough that, you know, putting in screws in a case or something, you, you, you can let off and not overdrive them. So I think it's going to work. Uh, it's not the highest quality item you're going to find, obviously. Uh, if you don't have it in gun, gun mode, I'm sure it will somewhat limit the torque a little bit by twisting your wrist. Let me try this again. Yeah, so you can start feeling how it's torquing. You've got a lot of feel when you do it that way. I think it's going to do quite well. Uh, I think we've got... Uh, just to be handy around the shop we'll see you'll see it being used uh, in different videos over time and we'll just see how the bauer screwdriver does thanks for tuning in hopefully that was a little bit of help and uh, maybe in the future episode we'll uh, maybe make a case for this because it would be nice to have a little something to hold it so thanks for tuning in hope to see you on the next video